hands on math. This video describes the mode, catalog, and VARS features of a TI 84 and TI 83 graphing calculator. The mode is the area in the calculator where you can choose some basic settings. A couple that are particularly important uh, the float line, the line that starts with float and then has numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. That indicates the amount of rounding that you're going to ask the calculator to do. So float means that it'll just kind of naturally be whatever that number is. And then if you want to round to whole numbers, you would choose 0 and then 1 decimal point. The, the tenths place would be 1, and to the hundredths place would be 2, and so on. As you can see, we can navigate through the menu by using the arrow keys. The up and down arrow go between the different setting options, you know, the, the different categories of settings, and then the left and right go between the two, you know, the, the two or more options that might exist. So if I wanted to choose so that uh, if I wanted to set the calculator so that numbers would round to two decimal places, I could uh, go to that, get the blinking cursor onto that uh, value, and then if I hit enter, it will select that as an option. Going back to the home screen, I hit second and then the mode key to quit. And let's take a look. One third. If I hit enter, it calculates one third as 0.33 because I asked it to round to the hundreds place, to two decimal places. In the float, which is the default option, typically uh, in, in the float mode, if I type in one third, it will give me, I think, I'm not counting them, but I think maybe ten, nine or ten uh, decimal places there, basically as many as it can. Another part of the mode menu worth mentioning is the difference between radians and degrees. These are two different ways to measure angles. So if you're in a trigonometry course or a geometry course, you may want to you know, be careful whether you want to measure angles in radians or degrees. In calculus, in particular, you always want to measure angles in, in terms of radians. You want to make sure your calculator is set to radians. And again, you can put the blinking cursor on that uh, choice and then hit enter to select it. The TI-84 does have a few more options than the TI-83, or at least I should say this is a newer TI-84 and this is an older TI-83 calculator. There's a newer operating system here that has some extra features. Most notably, there's a math print option. And the math print feature for certain functions, for certain calculations, it makes the calculator notation more in line with the normal handwritten notation that you may be familiar with uh, in mathematics. The TI-83 and TI-84 are able to do many, many different things. And the commands are listed among you know, different menus. There's a math menu. There's a menu relating to angle measurements. There's a draw menu, a stat menu, many, many different menus. And the commands are, are kind of grouped together in, in those different menus. But there is one place where they're all listed, the catalog. The catalog is the second command above zero, so we need to hit the second key and then choose catalog. And you can see many different commands of the calculator are, are listed in alphabetical order for your convenience and the alpha setting is activated. And so if you type a letter, it'll jump to that list in the, in the catalog. If you hit the up arrow, it will go into symbols, which are at the, the end of the catalog. So it, it kind of cycles through. Um, and so if you hit the up arrow, you can go through and, and type in different symbols that uh, occur. In a similar way to what catalog does for commands within the calculator, the vars key allows you to access in one place variables that you may want to know the the, the value of. So if I go to the VARS key, if I hit the VARS key, uh, it takes us to a menu which has two options, VARS and Y VARS, and then there are some, some choices we could make. There are settings related to the window, for example, that determine 
how the display is shown when you graph functions. YVARS allows us to access the definitions of functions that we can create in the y var uh, in the y equal menu rather and so I, I think that's a pretty powerful tool so let me show a, a little bit about that so under function if I choose function we can see y1 through y0 uh, y8 y9 and y0 so there are 10 like registers where you can define functions and, and to define something we can go to the y equals menu and let me define the function x squared so I can identify a variable using the variable key and in function mode we'll see an x when we hit that key the t, the theta, and the n relate to other modes that we could choose in the calculator and if I want to define x squared I can choose that x and then there are a couple ways to do it. We could either use the exponent caret or we could just hit the square key. And so I've defined x squared to be the function y1. I can go to the calculation screen, the home screen, and I can apply that function to a number by referring to it using the vars menu. So if I go to vars and then over to y vars and choose function, I defined a function in y1 and if I want to access that function, if I want to access that command I can add a parenthesis, maybe type in a number like negative 3 and then what's going to happen, this command because I, the way I defined it, this command will square negative 3, it'll take negative 3 times itself and of course negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 and our mode is set <clears throat> to display two decimal places so even though 9 is a whole number we see two digits there let me change back to float and we'll see using the entry command to bring that back again we'll see that in float mode we just see that whole number 9 so the vars menu uh, in particular it, it allows us to define functions and then kind of work with them algebraically make references to the different expressions that we can define within the calculator and a powerful aspect of the calculator is that it allows us that to then kind of work algebraically with those expressions rather than numerically having to kind of type numbers into the calculator every time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.